Okay, so welcome to Oscar Wilde, Shannon and Ora's, what was it? Extraordinary Adventure. Extraordinary yes, Oscar. Oscar Adventure. Yes, Extraordinary Oscar Adventure. <laughs> um, so, we are doing a little project together, and we decided that we were curious about all of the old um, Academy Award movies. And we decided we were going to start from the beginning and watch a couple from each year, a couple of winners from each year. And then I thought, why don't we share this with our friends? So we're going to share a few minutes of um, a film from each year from the Academy Awards and our feeling about it, a little bit about the story, and uh, maybe you'll want to watch it too. So what's next? Seventh Heaven, the first movie, the first Oscar. Uh, the first Best Picture. They made it in 1927, and it's for 1929, the first Academy Awards. Um, and it's the first silent movie I think we've ever watched. Um, and it actually worked. Um, what's the premise of the movie? Uh, you have the beautiful damsel in distress, you have the swashbuckling hero, you throw in World War One, and, and you have the movie. Um, in the beginning of the movie, you have this poor woman who's abused by her sister. She's cast out into the streets, where lo and behold, the swashbuckling hero picks her up. Uh, literally. Literally picks her up. Um, of course, it's all silent. There's a few words every now and then that you know flash on the screen in the form of text. But he picks her up. Um, there's a little bit of um, him not wanting her, her wanting him. And it kind of shows the way women were depicted in the movies up from the get-go. Um, the evil sister is all made up with the black makeup and the dark eyes, and she's just this awful, uh, vengeful um, person. Um, Mary Pickford, who I had heard of from my parents, plays the beautiful damsel in distress. Uh, her name is Diane. Uh, Chico is the one that saves her. It's set in Paris, and so how they pick the name Chico for the protagonist male, I, I, I do not know. Um, but anyway, it's a love story. That there's World War One. Um, he goes off to war. We well, won't spoil the end of it. Go ahead. Right. It turns into love, and he's an atheist through the whole movie, which is really crazy from that time period. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, you can imagine at the end he comes back alive, and we're not going to tell you what happens after that. But. Um, so all of these things that you would never think that you would see in a movie from 1929, you actually do see. And what was really, how did I feel? You know, how did I feel through this? Because I was really struggling, struggling with, oh my God, we're gonna have to like trudge through. We'll do it in small segments, trudge through a silent movie, much less like the, the, the photography or the, the video, videography was so bad. Um, but, you know, just seeing, and they're speaking, and you're like, what are they saying? But just seeing like a couple of words and a couple of seven sentences every few minutes, every five or ten minutes, it was enough. That's all we really needed. Um, it made you really focus in on these like over-dramatized movements and facial features, and you know, that really helped a lot in terms of understanding the movie, I would say, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's really yeah. jerky, and you're right, it's absolutely amazing how over the top the facial expressions are. And it's something you would probably make fun of if you, you know, you saw just a clip. But if you think about it, there's no other way you can really get the points across that they're trying to get across without words. Yeah, you, you have so, to be completely over the top. Right, even though the movie really wasn't a quality story, it was just like a classic story, just the acting, you know, the physical acting that was necessary, I think, did warrant awards. And they didn't know anything better at the time. So. Really, that's the end of it. We're really, uh, we really recommend it. It's called Seven, Seventh Heaven, and Mary Pickford won Best Actress. And, yeah, I think it won Best Picture. Um, and um, we would recommend that you see it for sure. And next comes 1930. And while we really enjoyed the silent movie, we're really looking forward to seeing some words, or hearing some words this next time around. <laughs> so until next time. <laughs>